Hello everyone, this is Jessica from Mrs. Stanford's class at blogspot.com here today to show you how I make my Teachers Pay Teachers products. I've had a lot of emails coming into my inbox asking questions about Word and about pages and I truly couldn't answer those um, the way I would like to just because I don't use those programs. When I did start, I did steer towards Word thinking, oh, it's the easiest program, you know, whatever. And then I chose to change to Publisher, which made it a lot easier, easier to format pictures, change backgrounds. And then I found out that everybody was using PowerPoint. So I had to try it, of course. I couldn't figure out why people were using it. I was thinking in my head, isn't that for presentations? I'm making PDFs. I don't want to use that. And once I started using it, I will never turn back. So let's show you how I create something. I'm just going to simply show you a few simple steps to make things easier. And then I do suggest just playing around with it. Um, that's how um, I've become better and quicker at making my products. So I'm sure if you play around with it, you will too. As you see right now, my paper is not the format that you would usually give one of your students. So if you're going to make a worksheet or something, I suggest going to page setup. You're going to change the orientation of your paper. If not, a lot of my products are sell, sold landscape just because I sell a lot of things that are printables and they're cutting it out anyway, so it doesn't matter which orientation it is. So let's show you how I would add a simple background. I'm going to go to Format, Slide Background. You're going to choose an image from your computer. Always remember that the images that you're putting into your files are used for commercial use. I'm going to use my own so that I don't have to worry about that. If you would like to purchase any of my digital papers or backgrounds, they are for sale in my Teachers Pay Teachers store. You can find the link through my blog. Uh, when you do buy any of my digital backgrounds, they are for commercial use, so you can use them in any of your products. All I ask is that you give me a little shout out on your thank you page so that other people know where your backgrounds came from and where they can find them. So here's the background that I'm going to use today. I'm going to insert a text box, but actually I want to make it a design. So let's go with let's go with this rounded cornered box. I'm gonna simply add that here for my title page. I'm gonna make sure that's centered. And I'm going to double click on it to change the color. Let's go with a lighter red since the background is that. The outside edge, let's make a deeper red. And let's go to weight and make that line a little thicker. Obviously the bigger the number, the thicker the line's going to be. You can also make it dashed if you wanted. Different styles, oh I like that. Then, as I said, I learned all this just through, just through clicking through each of these. I don't prefer a shadow on mine. I do like when the edges glow though, so let's add that. Make it a little bit bigger. As you see, there's just a simple title page. You can right click in it with a text box. And I'm going to go down to my fonts, which are also available in my Teacher Pay Teachers store. Um, they all start with Stanford, so it's easy to find them. Uh, let's go with my box print. I'm going to make this spelling word kit for week one. Alright, then obviously that is way too small for anybody to see on a preview. So we're going to up the size of that. Alright. And then if I wanted to add an image, I could, I'm just going to stick with something simple, but if you did want to add an image, you're going to do picture, insert picture, and then find an image on your computer that you would like to add. So say I wanted to add these cute little gingerbread men. I could add those on there. Actually I will keep that on there. 
And I want to remember to thank the person that these graphics are for. I did check in her terms of use that it is okay to sell things with her images in them as long as they're locked down. So I will be adding on my second page a thank you to her and a link to her store so that if anybody sees these graphics, they don't have to email me and ask me where they're from. It'll be plain estate and that way I can bring a little traffic to her life, hopefully. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hit Command D to duplicate that page. And I'm going to delete this out. And this is where I would make my thank you page for people that are downloading. I'm going to make this text a little easier to see. So let's choose Kinder Print. Actually, let's go with Girly Girl. Thank you. And then maybe I'll put, I usually put for downloading my unit. Please be sure to follow my store for, oops for new products and future freebies. Then obviously I'm going to want to space that up, move these little guys down, and then I can put um, under here maybe I want to put graphics by and then add the name of the person who um, owns the graphics that I've uh, purchased to put into this product. You also want to make sure that you are crediting anybody that has given you backgrounds or fonts. So make sure that you add all of those. Obviously, I'm using my own backgrounds and fonts, so I don't have to say that. But I could say backgrounds and fonts. Oh my word, I cannot type today. Backgrounds and fonts by me. And then, as I said, we want to make sure everything's always centered. Move that around. So I hope that this video has helped you a little bit on how to start creating a product. Um, it's all about using your shapes for shape boxes. One more thing maybe you wanted to know before I finish up. I'll delete all this out. I like to hit duplicate page just so that my pages look similar. Um, there are lines here if you want a name line. She's going to add a line, make sure that it's straight. My OCD won't let me leave a crooked line. And then obviously just like the others, you can double click that, change the color. Mm. Then add a little text next to it. It's all about manipulating shapes and pictures and text boxes to create your files. I hope that this video is helpful. If you have any more questions, please feel free to email me at all times at jessica.stanford at me.com. Thanks and have a great day.